Welcome back to another video. So as you can see in the title, I'm going to be doing a video about these crochet crochet hair that I put in. I'm literally in love with this hair. So basically what had happened was I went to the hair store because I took out my Marley twist and I really wanted to do crochet again. Um, I used to do crochet like way back like in 2015-ish and I loved it like it grew my hair so much I don't know why I stopped but I decided to start back up and I'm gonna be doing this as a protective hairstyle so I went to the hair store to see what kind of hair I should buy for it because I don't really like shiny hair and I saw this hair like on display and it was so it look it looks so natural because it wasn't shiny so it's called Lulu Tress you can see right there. But the ones that they had on display, the one I wanted, they didn't have in stock. So I wanted one called Corkscrew. That was like the tightest curl they had and it sold out. So I got the next closest one, which was um, Deep Twist. No, Water Wave. I got Water Wave. And I probably wore that for like, mm, maybe like three days. And I just wasn't feeling it. Like it looks good. You guys will see in this video what it looked like, but I just like wearing curly hair that is very close to my own curl pattern like I like big like hair and that just wasn't doing it for me so I went to another beauty supply store to see if they had the corkscrew one in stock and they didn't but they had one that I saw online that I was actually like contemplating on buying and is literally the best crochet hair I've ever ever tried so it's called Lulu Tress and it's literally just called 4B, like I think it's attempting to like duplicate 4B hair. To me it's more like 4A, 3C. My natural hair is mostly 4A, which I have a bunch of different curl patterns. Like the middle of my head is 4B, the front of my hair is like more 3C-ish. And then like everywhere else is 4A. But this is what it looks like. So I bought four packs and I only used two. I used two packs. I was expecting to use all four and I only used two, which I'm not complaining because now I just realized that I don't have to go buy more. I can just use these ones. Freaking sick. So it comes on these little straws and as you can see, it's pre-looped. Let me do a close-up real quick. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's pre-looped and then they just tie some little thing around it there. They just do that so it's easier and faster to install. But I didn't want to install like this just because I feel like this would be like a huge chunk. I just didn't want to apply it like that. So all I did was I cut this little string that they used to pre-loop the hair. And they're already pre-separated. So once you cut this, it's literally so easy. You just have to take like... Well, how can I explain? Basically what I did was after I cut this little string thingy right here. For like the back of my hair, I probably used like three to four of these single like curls per crochet if that makes sense so I would take three to four loop them in the crochet pull it through and I just did that for the back for the front I did like two and then for like the very very front of my hair like right before where my leave out is I use one just so I can have like a really natural looking hairline. But that's basically why I only use two packs is because they're pre-looped and pre-separated. So once I cut that little string and I crochet them with like two to four strands, it it's a lot of hair. I got three packs of the color two and one pack of the color 1B. So in my head I have one pack of 1B and one pack of two. Now I have had this in for almost two weeks. I put it in on April 1st and it is April 13th right now. So it has definitely got way more natural looking. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of how it looks when I first put it in. So this is like almost two weeks in. It's gotten a lot bigger, obviously a lot frizzier, but I feel like it looks way more natural this way. Like this is what I was waiting for it to look like. Like I loved how it looked when I first installed it, but I love it even more now. Like the older it gets, the more natural it looks. That's just how crochet hair is. I guess it is kind of low maintenance. I don't really, 
do anything to it. All I do is I bought this satin like scarf. This is actually made for locks and like braids and just like twists like long hair. And it has like a little tie. All I do, I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to mess up my hair. But I just flip my hair forward. I put this on. I tie it so the tie is in the back. And then I literally just have it on and I just shake my hair and I just do that so all of my hair moves forward into like the longer part and I'm just shaking 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 and then once it's in I tie it off and then I just have this long peanut looking head thing and I just sleep like that that's all I've been doing every single night and then in the morning I just take it off and obviously it's synthetic hair so it's not just gonna naturally fall it kind of mimics natural hair so it's kind of like sticks up a bit all I have to do is just shake my hair that makes it go down and then I just go like this I just do this so every single morning I'm doing this and I'm just separating and this has made it look very good like it hasn't really matted together the only place it's kind of matted is the back on this part like that's the most it's matted everywhere else it's not really mad and it's just gone frizzy which is to be expected and i'm not trying to like hide anything from you guys so other than um like my morning night routine of how i like put my hair up and like take it out in the morning and stuff um i have used this hawaiian silky because i see a lot of people recommending this for synthetic hair like when they do crochet i've used this twice so i used this the first day that i put it in and then i use this probably two days ago so I haven't really used it a lot I mostly just use it to make my my hair smell good and then for underneath my hair um I saw this at the hair store it's called can it's the Cantu refresher so it's like an apple cider vinegar root relief and this is just for like in between washing your hair so it soothes like itching and irritation and it refreshes the scalp without washing or water and it's great for weaves braids locks and extensions so once I saw that it refreshes the scalp without using water, I'm just like, this will be so convenient when I do my crochet. So I bought this unsponsored. I bought it from the hair store when I bought the hair. I put this on like two times a week. And I just part my hair where I cornrowed it so I can just reach in and feel my cornrows, part the hair to the side like so. And then I just take it and I just squeeze it in my cornrows and I massage it. Then I do the next one, squeeze it in my cornrows, massage it. I just do that all throughout my hair. Then I just massage it and it feels so good. Like it's so soothing and it's like tingly because it has peppermint oil in it. I do that like two times a week and then I oil my scalp once a week. So hopefully my hair will flourish. We shall see. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to put this video together. I guess I'm going to show you guys how I installed it. So this video you're going to see is the water wave hair. So the exact way I installed this water wave hair is the exact way I installed this. This is my braid pattern. I was going to let my sister corner my hair because she's really good at cornering, but I, I decided to just do it myself. But this is my braid pattern, so I'm leaving out the front of my hair. I literally just cornered it straight back. Um, I tried to do the parts neat, but at the end of the day, no one's going to be seeing them. And I also added in some braiding hair with my like with my own hair just so it's more like what's the word durable I guess so what I did for the part was I attempted to like cross the braids so as you can see the braids are going back and then I just kind of joined them into one
part, which I'm very proud of. The part looked very good the first day I did it, like super good. But now because it's more frizzy and big, it looks like way better. So I'm just gonna take the hair and split it into really small pieces. So I've been splitting the hair as I've been installing it just in two, but I'm gonna make them even smaller. Then I'm just gonna go in the part. This is why I made the braids on the part looser, was so I can like go in here just where my hair is and then put this through and then I'm just gonna pull one of the strands through instead of both and there's lots of videos on YouTube of people doing this sorry this is so hard to see in the camera so I'm just gonna take one strand Pull it through. I'm actually gonna pull it through twice. looks like super natural and all that's left out is my hair like right in the front here and then this is the hair that I crocheted right when the cornrows joined so I have a cornrow here and here and then I joined them into one over here so once it's joined into one I can literally just take a piece of hair and crochet it like right in the middle so that it hides the part if I were to do it just two um, cornrows straight back I feel like it wouldn't really look natural because you'll just see a gap like going all the way back. So basically the only hair I left out is at the front. That's the only place I leave my hair out. And that's just because I feel like it blends better that way and also I don't want to corner my edges. I just like leaving those out so that there's like no stress on them or anything. Also, these are extremely easy to take out. I'm going to show you how I take out the hair. Again, this video demonstration is going to be from the water wave hair. So you're gonna see me taking out the water wave and that video was right before I put this in so I took out those water waves and then I put this in. People say to cut on the knot, I don't really cut on the knot, I just cut right above it and that just makes it so it's extremely easy to just pull it out. It's extremely simple, like I thought it was going to be so hard. I don't know why I stopped doing crochet, like this is by far my favorite protective hairstyle. And I recommend taking out crochet. Um, I, I saw a video, I forgot who it's from, I wish I remembered. Um, if you remember, put her down below. But she made a video of how she takes out her crochets and it is like the best method ever. When you're taking them out, like part where your corner is, so I can literally just part my hair and this is like one corner row and then the next corner row is like up here. So take out your crochets according to how you braided your hair. So I would just part, like separate the crochets I did on this corner row, tie all of this together and then cut this first and then pull all of the crocheted hair out and then that corner row is already done and like taken out. You don't have to worry about it. Then you do the same exact thing, separate this corner row. It was super easy to install. Maybe it took like including cornering my hair three hours maybe if you're fast at cornering your own hair or you have someone to corner your hair for you it'll probably take like two hours depending how fast you are i was watching shows and stuff while i was doing it and i stopped to eat and all that stuff so i would say two hours so this was $12.99 but it was actually on sale at the store for $7.99 
after I saw that the corkscrew hair was sold out at my local beauty supply store, I went online on the Lulu Trust website. No, I think it was like Sally's Beauty. Sam's Beauty. The Sam's Beauty website. And I was just looking at all of their Lulu Trust hair. But once I saw how much that shipping was, I think it was literally like $20 or $30. I'm not paying that. And I saw this one on the site too, and I was like, I was eyeballing it. Then I go to the hair store and it's it's right there. I was so happy. So if you guys decide to try out this hair, I hope you like it. Again, it's extremely curly hair, so it's going to get frizzy, but I think like the frizzier it looks, the more natural it looks. And it still moves. Like I see a lot of people that do crochet and after like two weeks it's like super stiff. To me, I feel like it got softer. When I first put it in, you could tell it's like very synthetic-y. It got way softer. But this is definitely gonna be like my go-to hairstyle because I just like, I love it. I'm so in love with it. And I didn't cut the hair or anything. This is literally just the length of how it installed. I shaped it a tiny bit, just like if there was any super long pieces that was longer than others, like if there was like this, I would just cut that. Or if this was like this, I would just cut that. But um, lengthwise, I didn't really cut anything. I just shaped it. I mostly had to shape it this side, but this side pretty much just left alone. But this is how it looks. Yeah, but as you can see, it still moves. Two weeks in, it still has body. I'm so in love with this hair. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it's not going to be, I feel like it's going to be very long, but I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's the Curly Sage, signing out. Peace.